YouTube, what is going on? Savage here. In today's video, we're going to be doing an in-depth breakdown of a solo match. We're going to be pausing the video, discussing rotations, where you should go to find more enemies, where you need to go to position yourself into a safer location, also how to perfect and work on your in-game gunfight abilities. A lot of people just full send enemies and die without having any explanation of what they're doing wrong mid-fight. Guys, I really hope this video enlightens you. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, make sure you leave a like on it. Let's get this video to 500 likes. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel today. All right, here we are spectating uh, TTV. That's a clever way to spell it. You hear footsteps under us, by the way. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so first things first, we see this happen a lot, and just, just common sense, right? He goes to mount up to shoot this guy out the air. We got a lot more people around us. It's peak, my guy, so that's a fact. We hear gunshots. I'm sorry, we hear footsteps. Right here. And he jumps on the ledge. Two, it's very risky for two reasons. One, you might vault off on accident. It happens to me all the time. And two, you're clearly gonna get shot by another person. You're lucky it's not spine. You're lucky it's not other spots, but down here definitely has an angle on you now. So you're putting your body more vulnerable. All for what? Just to hopefully see the enemy and get a shot off on them? Maybe? You're still not gonna get the kill at that angle. Guy landing on us right here. Easy kill. Ooh, all right. Mean bean, fighting machine. It's a dangerous fight regardless. He almost got the, the win off, honestly. This is a dangerous fight. Now, if I'm ever falling in on peak, I'm gonna try my best to put myself behind cover. If I was him, I would play this right here. Land behind this and use it as a heady because look what we have. Nothing. We have no cover or concealment at all. We got a little container next to us, but the chance of us playing that small ass container to protect our entire body is very slim. Um, he would have been way better off instead of just full sending out in the open, going crouched with no cover, no concealment, playing this right here as a heady and getting some shots off and probably winning the gunfight. Again, just try your best to always fight with cover in front of you. Guys, if you lack gunplay, if you lack gameplay skill, if you lack movement, try sneak energy, man. No, all jokes aside, man, this shit gets you wired. No crash is the best part. No crash. The only energy drink I've ever had that has no crash. Um, use code staff to check out, guys. If you don't believe me, you don't want to buy an entire tub, try the sample pack today. We got loadout below us. I'd definitely take a peek at loadout. A quick little peek to see what's going on all right now we have an enemy running out here remember there's more people over here so if we decide to take shots at the enemy which we probably won't kill with this gun we might not even get them cracked um we will probably attract a lot of attention that's still at peak so i really wouldn't be too worried about this you have two idea two options one keep playing peak i don't think it's the best one or two go down there and get your load out and and then go fight them we also got another parachuter right here too So now we made a lot of noise shooting at an enemy. Someone clearly has a nice little angle on us. Let's see if it decides to push us. Well, he pissed them off and he revealed his position. Again, I thought for sure he could kill somebody else up here. That was gonna look down on us since we made all this fucking noise. But no, this guy came back for vengeance. But we're moving on to Just Say Nolan. Or just say Nola. And he just accidentally put it in on the end. Gang, gang, gang. All right, now we're running down here. Rally point set. Got a balloon marked. I'd, I'd imagine he's going to go here, try to get plates, and then take the vehicle to it. You hear explosions coming off of the left-hand side as well, where the balloon is at. Decent shots. Not too bad. Getting the high ground, also not bad at all. We've got the enemy cracked, we've got serpentine. Instead of wasting those bullets, I just go ahead and push up. Oh yeah. Now look, right here, he's cracked, my guy. He's cracked. He's clearly going for the vehicle. You have the NZ out, your other gun has no weapon ammo, so just keep the NZ out. And I'll show you why right here. 
right at this point, you vault into the top of this. You get on the sandbags, you vault on top, you whip out that NZ, and you get some shots off on him. He's a couple taps away from death. These vehicles are not hard to not only disable, but shoot enemies through them. You get to high ground, you get a nice angle, and you shoot down on that bitch. Okay, okay, okay. He ended up doing it. He had the right idea. I think a little bit sooner would have been better, but regardless, great option. Missed the shots. It is what it is, but I, I got to respect it. He went for the. He went for it. I didn't think he was. We'll let it play out. Two things. Right gun for the right fight, my guy. You see him right here. This is easy kill for the NZ, bro. We're already locking onto this bitch. If we had an NZ, he'd be dead. This guy would be fucking fried. But he fucked up. He tried to fight him with the ground loop blitz and at range. Even a normal blitz and build, an actual meta blitz and build at this range, good luck. Um, this is easy NZ kill. That's what you should have had. Even with the ground loop, you would have been the shit in. Second, two. This is what you call concealment. It hides you, but it doesn't protect you. He knows you're still here. He watched you lay prone. He's still getting hits through the tent. He's on the key to continue to fire. You do not ever hide behind gunfire through a tent. You move, you jump off, you relocate, you play, you play the, there's a vehicle next, there's a bunch of blown up shits next to you. You got other buildings, containers, you got a ridge, you got a lot you can use to work with this fight, but instead you laid prone for this to happen. Pretty, pretty questionable, I'm gonna be honest. But here we have Skill Barber we're moving on to, I think. All right, this is what we have. This is what we call downtime. Um, a lot of waste of time, a lot of back and forth for no reason at all. We don't really need anything except for money. I'm not, I'm personally not one to just run around and loot. Personally, I don't think looting is, is that beneficial unless you're like in a regain situation and you need loadout, you need things, I get it. But we don't need anything except for UAVs. Now, before we continue on, um, I like to hunt down enemies and kill them for their money. That's what I love to do. If I happen to run next to a building that I hear a crane in, I'll open it, but I'll never double back to loot that area again, like, like Skill Barber has done. Respect the shot. It's got to lead the vehicle a little bit more. If you're shooting the back of the car, you're not going to hit the driver. We're going to go back to peak. And solos, dude, when you're trying to when you're trying to hunt down fights and get kills and even positioning, you got to look at the map and you got to go where you think either A, enemies are, or B, where you think the best positioning is. Peak, nine times out of ten, is never going to be your best positioning if you're trying to play passive and for the win, um, unless it's on the very edge of the, of the zone. I mean, like, very edge of the zone. Peak's a hot spot. People love going back, just like Skill Barber does. So this is going to be an area there's going to be a lot of ratty players, um, and you'll get caught out most of the time. I wouldn't even say going back to peak is good for an aggressive play. It's very rare that after the hot drop, peak is popping for kills. You'll have people hiding in the tunnel where the plane is. You'll have people hiding on top of, of here. You'll have people hiding on spine, but it's not going to be a very action-packed place. Just, again, a lot of ratty players. Um, with this circle here, I don't know where it is. I can't pull up the map, but I would go somewhere like Beachhead. Beachhead would have a lot of players. Beachhead's area will be a lot of good positioning as well. Factory, a lot of enemies you can go fight. Um, arsenal, a lot of players you can go fight. Those buildings there, that entire area is a lot easier to fight in. When you're talking about peak, the problem with fighting at peak is the verticality of peak. You have multiple layers, multiple avenues. Mul it's massive. It goes all the way around. And again, you have the spine of the mountain as well. Um, and it's very easy to get clapped in third party from multiple angles from, again, the rats. So I try to avoid rats at all costs. It's not really a foolproof plan, but I don't think Peak's a good spot to go to for positioning or for kills. Like this right here, we have an enemy that jumped off the top to go down here to loot, I'm assuming. We're vulnerable as fuck. We're vulnerable, and most enemies are going to be looking at these gondolas to see if anyone's on top of them. Or inside of them. Oh, and he's got a bounty on us too. Oh, GG. That's it, we're dead. Maybe we're not. We 
we came all this way to sit in a corner and hide. No. No. When you watch anyone who's a good player and they got a bounty on them, what do they do? They push the person who's got the bounty on them. They, they like if this was me right now and I was like, oh, level three, he's on me somewhere. I'm going to be actively looking for this guy. It's a free kill. Reverse bounty that bitch. People get so afraid because all oh, they can see where I'm at. Plot twist, the ping is delayed. It can really confuse the enemy. To be honest, most players we spectate that pick a bounty up, they get so hyper-focused on where that ping is that the actual bounty will be somewhere else and shoot them in the back. It's a beautiful system to work both ways. Make sure you're not fucking falling to this bullshit. He's so afraid of dying, but again, it's not like he's got walls. It's not like he knows exactly where you're at. So again, to reiterate, we've now run down to the buy station that's back here and all the way back up. Waste of time going back where you just came from for no reason. And again, the same shit. Going all the way to peak and all the way just to go back here to your safety net. This We've been spectating this dude for what? Five minutes? Haven't seen nothing. No rotation, no high ground, no buy, no, not even loot, nothing. Oh, easy claps right here. Actually, this might be worse. We got blessed that there was an enemy accidentally here. What are you doing, bro? No one. No one one more time. All right, so let's just talk about this one more time. Um, He came back here and he got blessed. There happened to be enemies here. But look at Nolan. Poor Nolan. This is the same guy that went prone on the tent. Poor, poor guy. So he's getting shot by us right now. His hit indicator should be telling him that he's getting shot from us. So what does he do? He needs to avoid running towards us. But he does it anyway. And better yet, he comes out to the open even more. Absolutely wild. Again, enemies do not pay attention or players do not pay attention to the hit indicators at all. At all. Now look, we're trapped between two players. We got a we got a team or an enemy over here by the buy, which we got shot by, and we have, of course, the bounty up top at peak, and he's got to move towards us. We've put ourselves in this weird position. Let's see how he gets himself out of it. He doesn't. There it is. There it is, right there. I just. I don't understand the mindset. Again, if he would have challenged his bounty and maybe killed him, he wouldn't have died to him. He might have died to him up at peak, but at least he would have had a chance right there. And me grab the high ground, we didn't have a chance in hell. This is dangerous. We have no idea where this dude is, and we didn't loot land on our loot. You hear the enemy. I love this ADS looking around too. Again, back into a corner. He knows you're here. He heard your parachute. Don't get scared now. Oh my God, bro. Perfect timing. Don't get scared now, dude. Granted, I did not expect him to get sniped from a whole nother angle. But the enemy already heard you come up the first two stories of the, of the staircases. It's not like sitting there is going to hide your footsteps. But I'm glad you finally died sitting still. All those times you finally died. Did he learn his lesson? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. But again, you want to have momentum. You want to have movement. Great players don't sit still. If you guys want to be a great player, um, even if I have it, I just want to have fun. You guys want to have more fun and not die as much? Again, you got you got to move around, bro. I love that ragdoll, though. That was beautiful. Moving on to AVTV Gaming. Never mind. We're not moving on to AVTV Gaming. 
I'm guessing Bolas got the kill on there on your boy. And that's why we're not spectating the Facebooker. Wait, 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 hold up. I didn't see a glint at all. I swear to God, glints are broken in this game. Glints don't exist anymore. Maybe it doesn't have, maybe, maybe. Oh, oh, there it is, I found it, I found it, I found it. God, it took me a while. Look how, look how light the glints are. No wonder we can't see this shit, bro. They're not as, they're not as obvious they used to be. It's like, there's a lot of opacity to it. Anyway, we're moving on. Facebooker with two beautiful sniper fucking shots to the head. Maybe we'll spectate them, maybe not. I think this game we've literally spectated TTVs and now Facebook. Everyone in here has been a TTV -er except for Bolus. So, okay, we're moving on to yet another streamer. Let's hope to God that we get a little bit of aggression and got really two good sniper shots, waiting patiently for the guy to, uh, just pop a tea bag on him. Oh, that's got yeah, Okay, okay, okay. Good movement, jumping inside. Being aggressive, popping some more tea bags on his face. I respect it. Can't hate you for that one, brother. I'll tea bag everybody. I don't give a shit. Just, just... Just to make people mad at a video game. I love it. But regardless, this is a dangerous spot to be in no matter what, because we have all of these well, entire ridges. We got peak, we got every, all the downslope. Everything has an angle on us. Just like AV TV had, bro. He sniped both these guys that were sitting over here. He's vulnerable as well. Again, if you're trying to get more aggressive, man, you got to go to aggressive areas. You'll catch enemies coming here all the time, but this isn't where you're going to get the majority of your kills. Again, hit indicators. Let's, let's, just, let's just rewind real quick. Hit indicators are very important for you. So the enemy is somewhere over here, but look how far left we look. Again, it's moving. He's on this ridge somewhere, and we're still looking left. That's not really lined up and centered. It's close, but even just paying attention to that small, minute difference can literally save your life. Now, if you really wanted to, you can go back in that building, get in that third floor, and shoot this enemy. Again, still vulnerable in this entire area, though. Getting shot by yet another player. Fucking weird. Again, dude, if you're an aggressive player, playing the edge is awesome. You can get a lot of kills from people like this because look how many passive players are sitting on the edge. A lot. Both the guys we spectated before, AVTV, passive as well. And then, of course, the guy to the right and guy to the left that are shooting at us both, playing the edge, extremely passive. It's weird. People flip-flop it, dude. Passive players play the edge and they really shouldn't. Aggressive players, well, aggressive players, do we do what we want. But I like to play the edge, especially in this situation. Because I would clean up these kills. Let's see what he does, dude. No plates. I break out of this situation. I don't like running from fights, and it's very rare you'll see me run from fights, but... We have a balloon over here. I would have just slid that way when he was popping the reload because the dude was definitely reloading after all those bullets um, and maybe even gotten lucky and gotten some plates and just, just regroup. This is not looking too hot for AVTV. He needs to win this fight to get some armor and move on. And again, look at this. We're laying prone, waiting for the enemy to come to us. And the enemy will have a nice ridge he can use as a heady. I'll know exactly-ish where we're at. This is a bad play. He might get lucky and get the kill, but I don't give a fuck if he wins it or not. This is a very stupid thing to do. Do not lay prone ever in a gunfight. Not to mention, even though he probably will kill us, yeah, our entire backs revealed after all these gunshots. The enemies are here and they're going to be looking this way. We're vulnerable. AVTV is about to get caught up, just like TTV boy got caught up. 
Oh my god, he died. Never would have fucking guessed that. Come on, man. It's common sense, bro. You're you're a bounty. You're pinged up. Duh. Oh fuck. I was hopeful. I was hopeful we'd be moving on. He's gonna land on the other dude's shit and get his stuff. Not a bad decision, honestly. I'd be smart. If he had good weapons, at least. And he does. It's amazing how many snipers I'm seeing as solos now. And again, that's another reason why if you're playing passive, you don't play the edge like this because he got shot at from two different enemies. He's lucky he didn't get third partied. Like he's lucky he didn't die from the third party is what I meant to say. Again, we're vulnerable so instead of all this b-hop and bullshit for no reason look i'll i'll be hop if i'm playing a ridge and i want to see over the ridge for sure i'll jump around but this right here is stupid because you're just creating hang time for yourself slowing your movement speed down and you need you need a dip bro we need this balloon we need to get there fast before the circle closes up but every time he be hops every time he stops he's just putting himself in a vulnerable spot again balloon to get safe we have to run across a huge open area very vulnerable we know there's an enemy close because he just killed us yet here we are dilly dallying not a time to dilly dally. Again, if we don't die, it's purely luck. Fucking ass. I'd say it's probably like a 1.5 KD player, and of course I'll have their KDs listed below, so you'll, you guys will be able to see, but. Hey, footsteps? Dude, it's so weird. These tents, bro. It's so hard to tell if it's footsteps or not. I swear I thought I heard footsteps. I might be drunk. Again, notice the back and forth. Notice the waste of time. It's like he wants to push out, but he's afraid to push out. He knows he needs to push out, but he's afraid. Granted, it's better than sitting in a corner, but this is the same method. If you're sitting in a tent, just waiting for a circle, if you're just running back and forth, it's the exact same thing. You're just doing something different. Same outcome is going to happen. Guys, have I mentioned our Lord and Savior Seek Energy yet? It's fire. Let's go to man. It's midnight. I've been up since 6 a.m., bro. And I'm wired as fuck, baby. Let's go. Use code Savage to check out, guys. Also, all jokes aside, man, I really appreciate y'all support with using the code. Uh, using my code at Sneak, man. Y'all have been amazing. Thank you guys so much for all the love, dude. And allowing me to continue my partnership with this amazing fucking company. All right, so so what are we watching right now? What's what's really happening? Well, we don't really know what to do. Your boy has no idea where he wants to go. We've got a big game bounty in front of us, which could tell us an area to go. It looks like he might grab that shit. But again, nope, he's not grabbing it. But we haven't seen him take the balloon one time. Oh, oh there we go. So now we have an option to where we can go to this building and gatekeep right now this isn't a very bad spot to gatekeep but it's not my number one now in your head you might be thinking well savage if we're in here we can watch him come to us and you're right we might stay here and get the kill for sure but i want i want more kills and i guarantee you right now someone's in this building sitting there 
That's one kill, possibly. Um, and then the big game bounty, which is two kills. Now, what happens if we sit in this building and this big game bounty jumps down the hill and rotates away from us? Well, now we're not gatekeeping shit. Um, I would definitely play the fuck out of this, grab the balloon on my way out, after I kill everyone around me, of course, and go to the next best spot. This building we're in right now is not a good spot for us to be in at all. Again, this isn't a bad idea. This is not a trash strategy, but I want to play the best situation. I think grabbing that hard building is probably the best situation for sure. Again, Bounty is having to rotate right now. He's starting to move, and we're not looking at all, bro. We don't give a fuck. Now, if the Bounty's smart, he'll be making his way to the balloon. I'd want to catch him on the balloon. Our Bounty's now closing the gap towards us. And he rotated lower to the left to go to the bunker. Ta-da! And we have no, no fucking idea at all. Oh, ding, ding, ding. There it is. There it is. You see him, bro? You see him? What's, what's you looking at? What's you looking at, my guy? I want the airstrike here. What kind of lobby are we in right now? How did I? What? Not only did it not kill him, but it opened the door for him. <laughs> All right. All right. Chaco Flava getting blessed by the COD gods, man. Call that skill based fucking hit reg if you want. Now, again, I don't like the sandbag play right here. Not a bad option. This guy clearly is clueless. I'm glad he's not closing the gap, though. The dude has a riot shield, so you have to play your distance. I'm all for that. But we're vulnerable. Well, the entire 360 degrees. We are very vulnerable right now. What are you doing, homie? Just gonna throw shit at him just, just for fucks? You try to bait him out? Yo, is he trying to bait? He falls for us. This is a 300 IQ play right here. I did not. He might. I mean, no dumbass would be dumb enough to fall for that, but it's, yeah, he might be. I love the panic gas grenade. And again, dude, we're so hyper-focused on this enemy the entire time. Sandbags, this little sandbag area, no matter what, every time we're vulnerable as fuck. We forget about the other enemies around, and I'm not surprised he got shot. I'm actually surprised he didn't get shot in the back sooner. Salute this savage. I got you, baby. I'm not, I'm not, I take that salute back. Don't fucking heartbeat a tree ever again, my guy. You made it to the top five. Smash it. Now, he knows that enemy's over here. I'm guessing he was looking at what we were shooting at. Not a bad play, but same situation. We're vulnerable from the higher ground, which I'd be more worried about. That enemy's gone. He's already rotated. He's going to get killed. He's going to run out in the open. He's, he's gone from me right now. Get safe and then start looking for the rotation. So right now, we got a ridge right here we can play. Again, vulnerable from the building, but still not a bad spot. Look at the ridge, peek it. If you don't see it, move on. When you're looking for an enemy and scanning for an enemy, if you don't see him right away, don't just sit there and hard scope if you're vulnerable as fuck. Keep working yourself in a better position. And every now and then, take a peek over to where you last know, knew the enemy was at.
I'm not saying it. Now, in my opinion, this is the best building to hold. This is where I would start slowing down my gameplay. We're in a good spot. We're safe-ish. Throw a trophy up here. Just throw it up here in case people start spamming shit at you. Grab the fucking barricade, this little bitch right here. Just in case, again, someone pushes you. Or even just grab this bitch and block a staircase with it. Block a ladder with it. That way you only have to watch a few different areas. There's a lot of trophies on this fucking roof. Holy shit. Oh, no. Right, this is where we're playing too slow. So now look, we're crouched behind this thing, but we have entire we have gas pushing everybody out. Whoever's in the circle is coming out. The first thing I would do is again look down to the east where that guy was last known and see if you catch him out in the open. You might not, you probably won't, but at least peek it. Secondly, this building up here, these buildings up here, again, I would just be scanning the entire surrounding, watching for the gatekeep. There's only four enemies left, so they're probably in zone right now, but better safe than sorry, dude. You don't want to fucking risk not catching somebody running out in the open. To have him later kill you. I don't know what the fuck we're doing with this goddamn harpy sensor, though. Oh, weird. There he is. Right there. Again, if we would have been watching him sooner, he'd probably be dead. Now, again, we can play this a lot longer. We have to get safe, but these guys need to rotate first because we're closer to the zone. We have a while to play this. The problem is they might rotate wide and we won't have an angle on them. So I would sit here for a little bit, kind of analyze what's going on, but I wouldn't stay hyper-focused on this tent. Watch it for sure, but you want to take a glance to see if you catch any movement over here because we do need to move. We need to rotate. So we need to figure out where these fucking enemies are so we know what to avoid. Shit, dude. I might even I'm honestly I'd probably take the fucking balloon to be honest I might push that shit hopefully win that fight and take the balloon just to get a better position because that's coming off this hill is going to be very bad juju bro and we might the enemy might take the balloon too look I'm all for mountain if you want to mount dude but you do not you do not ever Fail to shoot the enemy on time or early because you just want to mount. This, the Cooper base has no recoil. We hesitated on that. Let's, let's, let's just look back so I can fucking finish that, that thought. Look at this. Dip up a little bit. Right here, he peeks, right? We should be shooting at him right now. But we don't. We hesitate. And again, we might not have got the kill, but... He wanted that mount so bad, he lost out on possibly able to crack his armor or even get the knock. Did he go to the tower? No, he did not go to that tower. That was, that was his thought. Now look. One enemy over here to our left. I'm sorry, over there. Y'all's left. And we have us. So let's put ourselves in the player's shoes out here. There's two enemies somewhere out here. So if you're the player out here, what should they be doing right now? Well, they hear us shooting. They should be looking to see where we're shooting at so they can eliminate two players off the mystery list. Also, they need to look at the circle. Well, fuck, the dude shooting up on this building's got to come to me, right? Imagine you're a player in this tent. Imagine you're here. Me. Well, shit. Salute this savage has got to come to me. So I'm going to sit here and watch for him to jump. So the moment we jump, we should be getting beamed out the fucking sky right now. This is why I tell you guys you're better than you think you are because if you're sitting in a corner in-game situation too afraid to look around because you don't want to get shot in the head, you miss out on beautiful opportunities like this. Easy, easy clap, dude. This dude's fucking dead to rights for anybody in the lobby. The guy we shot at and the two guys out here. But clearly no one shot at him. What are we doing? Parachute in front of us. Second guy to do it. Wild. Fucking wild. Now I'm gonna make a wager. 
this guy will not win this game. He might, but I doubt he's going to win this game. I fucking doubt it. The tower is a bad spot to be. It is a very, very dangerous spot to be. So I have this feeling he's going, I mean, all the enemies are going to figure out where he's at the moment he starts shooting and he's going to be a very vulnerable target. But I've, I've been shocked before. got a shot off on us so he must have seen us fly up here when he was on the top still he knew exactly where we were at I hear a guy in the big hangar I guess it's the same enemy oh my god look at this look at this fucking dude look at this guy I've seen a huge increase in riot shielders get to see one win but we've been seeing a lot of riot shielders and solos lately I'll be honest, they need to make them destructible. Like if you hit it a hundred times, it should just break. So I guarantee this guy here, bro, he's just fucking up his own ability. Oh, he might be having fun. I'm not gonna hate on him. He might be having a fucking blast. Time of his life. See the right shielders at the bottom left. This is why observation is so important. This is why I yell at everyone for using the heartbeat sensor the way they do, because they're so focused on finding blips, they don't see simplest movement. Look at this guy moving right here. That's not an FOV issue. That's an I'm blind as fuck issue, because I'm just staring at my heartbeat monitor. I'm staring at my baby monitor so much, I can't see the enemy running right in front of me. Look at that, B-hop and everything, that's Fortnite. And we just, look where we're looking, right back where we last saw him. Clueless, fucking clueless. Continuously hurt using the heartbeat. We know this guy's down there. There's no surprise. There's a right shielder again, walking sideways to our left hand side, right there. Ding, ding, ding. Oh shit! Enemy Look fire. at us. Is he sitting in the gas? What an animal! Probably one of the worst riot shielders I've ever seen. Now look, here's my next game plan too. Whenever the gas pushes this dude off of this building and he leaves the high ground, I instantly would jump to the rooftop of this building here. That'd be the better spot. Actually, we're still safe, but I'm surprised he survived this long. Still, there's one enemy missing. Not shot, not done nothing. Hiding his ass off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Solos. Well, at least camping's in his name. He owns that shit. Respect, I guess. Oh, he's to your bottom left. Oh my God, bitch. You literally had him on heartbeat. How are you going to use a heartbeat sensor like that and still not take advantage of the intel? Bottom left. Duh. Come on, man. What the? What do you think he's at? Where do you think he's at? Right there? Hell no. Of course he's right there. That's common sense. You think it is, at least, until you see some shit like this. Not looking good for your boy. There's still a whole player missing, too, but I think he's in those back buildings. There's two buildings right back here. I think this dude's hiding in. We have circle favor, though. Somehow, someone... Oh, oh, there he is. Finally looking. Look at that. Shoot him. You mounted for this. You mounted for that. Don't mount, bro. Uh-uh. You're too vulnerable. Stop mounting. Stop mounting that much, man. Mounting's fine. I don't have anything against mounting, but in this fight here, bro, look at this. 
the, the moment we mounted, he's still heart beating too. Look at this. We're mounted right now, and he's vulnerable as fuck. If this guy's a beamer, he can take our head off easy. You just got to play back. Again, the Cooper's a great weapon. Most of these guns don't have recoil. Play back a little bit and use it as a heady. Don't just put your whole fucking body up there. Wild. Again, the guy's got to move out. We need to be looking. I get you want to plate up, but you got to look to see where the enemy is so you can cancel your plating and get him and and shoot him when he's in the open. Sorry, I'm getting so fucking heated. I can't talk straight. Here's you hear him coughing, bro. What are you looking for? Heartbeat him again. Fucking heartbeat him again. You know what? Oh man, we died. Jay will fucks you over. Look, dude. This is the guy that we were originally shooting at way long ago. What, 40 minutes ago? We were literally shooting at him. We had two, we had three options to fight this guy and secure the kill. But because we were too afraid to commit to the kill and push this guy and be aggressive, he ended up killing us. This is why I always tell you, be aggressive. Don't be afraid to fight. Because if you are afraid to fight and you run from it, or you fail to secure the kill, or you fail to push, he might come back later and kill you. And that's exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. Um, so two things right there. One, be aggressive and push fights. Two, don't camp at towers. That shit's not beneficial for you for the most part. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did or you learned something new, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel today. And if you have any friends out there that suffer from these mistakes, make sure you send them this video so they are a lot more efficient at their gameplay. And they'll be a lot more fun to play with. But again, guys, hope you follow me over on Twitch. We'll be doing it. But guys, until next time, man, y'all have a good one. And good luck in Warzone. Wolfpack, today we spectate solos and we see some weird shit. And this right here is an what YouTube, what is going on? YouTube, today we're spectating some solos and we're diving in depth. We pause in the videos, talking about gunfights, talking about rotations, and really just helping you guys evolve as a player. Guys, we see a lot of common mistakes that people do day in and day out. After years of spectating, people still do this shit. My goal as a YouTuber is to help, hopefully help you guys become better players so you get more efficient, you have more fun. Guys, if you haven't already, leave a like on this video. Let's get this video to 500 likes. Subscribe to the channel today. But without any further ado, suck that.